Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasham Ali Khan. So far, 12 problems I have complete, com completed on computation of income from house property. Now in this video, few more problems. Four problems I'm going to explain you and these problems are entirely different. A new provision we have to apply in order to compute to the income from house property in this video. So before starting the 13th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot, then I'll explain. Now, see the problem number 13. <clears throat> Uh, Sri Venkat Reddy purchased a house in Kakinada in the year 1997 and using for his residential purpose. This is the first problem where the SSC is using the property for his own residential purpose. He has not let out. He is not earning any income by letting out. He is using the house for his own self-occupation. During the previous year, relevant to the current assessment year, the following particulars were furnished. Compute income from house property. Municipal rental value MRV 25,000. Rent of similar building. This is FRV 30,000. Expenses paid for municipal taxes 2,500. Non-agricultural land tax 1,000. Repairs 2,800. Insurance 500. And interest paid on loan taken to purchase the house 40,000. This is the first problem where the SSC is owning the house and using the house for its own self-occupation. Income Tax Act 1961, it has given the provision that when an SSC uses the house for his own self-occupation, self-residence in that case, the NAV of that house will be nil. No need to calculate GAV, no need to consider MRV, FRV. We don't require it because NAV itself is nil, zero. From NAV, we deduct the deductions under section 24. But Income Tax Act says no deductions are allowed under section 24 except one deduction. That is interest on loan taken to purchase the house, to construct the house or to repair the house. For these purposes, is loan, if loan is taken and interest is paid, then deduction will be allowed under section 24b. No other deduction. Statute reduction will not be allowed. That is a new point. Now, see carefully. Computation of income from house property of Sri Venkat Reddy for the assessment year. Self-occupied house. First point in this problem. The house is self-occupied. The NAV, net annual value nil. Deduction under section 24. The standard deduction under section 24a will not be allowed for self-occupied house. Only one deduction is allowed that is interest paid on loan taken to purchase the house. How much interest is paid? It is given 40,000 rupees interest is paid. But Income Tax Act has given the provision. If the loan is taken before 1-4-1999, 1 1st April 1999, before this date, if the loan is taken, then interest on loan will be allowed as deduction to the least of the following two amounts. Actual interest paid or 30,000 fixed limit has been given by Income Tax Act. Ceiling limit has been given by Income Tax Act. That is 30,000. The actual interest paid or 30,000, whichever is less, will be allowed as deduction. So here, interest paid on loan taken to purchase the house is allowed as deduction. The loan is taken before 1-4-1999. You have to remember this date. If the loan is taken before 1-4-1999, so the reduction is least to the following two. Actual interest paid is given in the problem 40,000. Or fixed ceiling given by Income Tax Act 30,000. Whichever is least, 30,000. So 30,000 will be allowed as reduction. So interest on loan 30,000. Zero minus 30,000 is minus 30,000. So there is a loss from self-occupied house minus 30,000. That's all. So simple. Now, for self-occupied house, the NAV will always be taken as nil. Always. We will not start from GAV. GAV will start when the SSC has let out the house. Let out the house. Then only 
GME. Here, self-occupied. So, NAV will always be taken as nil. No deductions are allowed under section 24 except one deduction, interest on loan taken to purchase, construct or repair the house. That's over. Now, 14th problem. Sri Arunachalam purchased a house in Pune on 1st July 2011. That means, remember the date. When he has purchased the house on 1st July 2011, he is using the house completely for his residential purpose. Again, self-occupied house. The fair rental value is 1 lakh. Ignore, we don't require FRV. With a municipal rental value of 80,000, we don't require MRV. MRV, FRV, we don't require for self-occupied house. And uh, during the previous year, he has paid municipal taxes 12,000. We don't require no municipal taxes deduction. And uh, land revenue, ignore. And interest on loan taken to purchase the house 1,50,500. Compute his income from house property. This SSC has taken a loan from bank to purchase the house. Previous problem, I, have, I told you one point. If the loan is taken before 1-4-1999, the ceiling limit is 30,000. If the loan is taken after 1-4-1999, then interest paid, the ceiling is 2 lakh. Ceiling amount is 2 lakh. So the date is the deciding factor. Before 1499, if the loan is taken, the ceiling 30,000. If the loan is taken for purchasing the house after 141999, ceiling limit is 2 lakh. Exactly same. NAV mill deductions under section 24, 24B interest on loan taken to purchase the house. Right? So here. For self-occupied house, the NAV will always be taken as nil. No deductions are allowed under section 24 except interest on loan taken to purchase the house. The loan is taken after 1-4-1999. Here. After 1-4-1999. So, deduction will be allowed to the least of the following two amounts. Actual interest paid. 1,50,500 given in the problem. Ceiling limit. Fixed amount is 2 lakh. Whichever is least. 1,50,500 is least. So, therefore, deduction under section 24B is 1,50,500. Now, deduction 1,50,500. This is less. So 0 minus 1,50,500, you are getting negative. Minus 1,50,000, this is the loss on self-occupied house. That's it. Now we come to the 15th problem. Problem number 15. Sri Srikant owns a house at Jaipur. Municipal value 65,000, fair rental value 78,000. During the previous year, the house is used for residential purpose. This is the main point. The house is used for residential purpose. That means not let out. It is self-occupied. When it is self-occupied, we don't require MRV. We don't require F farming. Then during the year, previous year, the house is mortgaged with the bank for a loan of 5 lakh rupees at 15% interest to renovate the house. Why he has taken the loan to renovate, to repair the house? Then deduction will be allowed. In case of mortgaging the house, the mortgager is liable to pay the tax. Here the SSC has mortgaged the house for taking the loan in order to renovate the house. Compute income from house property for the current assessment year. Exactly similar. But the only difference is the loan is taken not to purchase the house but to renovate or repair the house. In that case, the ceiling limit is 30,000. Whether the loan is taken before 1-4-1999 or after 1-4-1999, date is not concerned. Always, if the loan is taken to repair or renovate the house, the limit is uh, 30,000. That's it. So here, computation of income from house property of Srikanth, NAV, net annual value mill. Deduction under section 24, 24B, interest on loan taken to repair the house or renovate the house. For self-occupied house, the NAV will always be taken as nil. No deductions are allowed under section 24 except interest on loan taken to purchase, construct or repair the house. The loan was taken to repair the house. This point you remember. The new point in this problem is for repairing the house. 
in the previous two problem it was for purchasing the house for purchasing the house the law is different the provisions are different here the loan is taken to repair the house the house so whether the loan is taken before or after 1-4-1999 it is allowed as deduction to the least of the following two amounts the first one actual interest paid the loan is taken 5 lakh rupees at the rate of interest of 15 percent the 15 percent of 5 lakh 30,000 or 15 uh, percent of 5 lakh is 75,000 and fixed ceiling limit is 30,000 not 2 lakh it is 30,000 because the loan is taken to repair or renovate the house whichever is least 30,000 is least so therefore deduction under section 24b is 30,000 here minus 30 0 minus 30,000 is minus 30,000 this is the loss from self-occupied house that's it next one more problem 16th one Sri Uma Maheshwar Rao on 1st June 2021 he purchased a flat in Sri Satya Sai residential complex for his residence for 38 lakh again self-occupied the SSC purchased a house for self-occupation self-residence he availed a housing loan from ICICI bank for rupees 24 lakh at 14 percent so to purchase the flat he has taken a loan from bank so interest paid on loan will be allowed as deduction actually inter loan is taken after 141999 for purchasing the house so the maximum ceiling limit is 2 lakh the ceiling limit is 2 lakh compute his income from house property for the current assessment year exactly similar computation of income from house property of Sri Uma Maheshwar Rao for the self-occupied house net annual value nil deduction under section 24 so only one deduction under section 24a interest on loan taken to purchase the house now here the NAV of self-occupied is nil no deductions are allowed except 24b uh, except uh, 24b interest on loan taken to purchase or construct or repair the loan is taken to purchase the house after 1-4-1999 so, so the limit is least of the following two actual interest paid uh, actually loan is taken on 1st June 2021 our year begins from 1st April our previous year begins from 1st April 2021 but he has taken the loan on 1st June 2021 so how many months June July August September October November December, January, February, March up to 31st March from 1st June 2021 to 31st March 2022 it is 10 months so we calculate the interest for 10 months 14% of 24 lakh into 10 by 12 the full year day, I mean interest will not be calculated only for 10 months 2 lakh 80 thousand or fixed ceiling limit is 2 lakh whichever is least so 2 lakh rupees is the least so therefore deduction under section 24 B is rupees 2 lakh so here minus 2 lakh 0 minus 2 lakh is minus 2 lakh the so loss from self-occupied house is 2 lakh huh. so in this video four problems I have explained and all the four problems are on self-occupied house and this type of questions may be frequently asked in examination so watch the video twice thrice to get the complete points normally students commit the mistake by not remembering the provisions you have to remember the provision then only your answer will be right you will get full marks in examination so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel give your comment subscribe if you have not yet subscribed by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video